They're coming. Your president and your CEO and the 2017 AFL Premiership Cup. Okay, we were just waiting on our Premiership players. They're making their way. They had a big night last night, so we'll be back in a minute. Just uh, take a few photos of the cup. We'll be back in a second. Okay, Tiger Army, they are here. Woo, let's give them a big round of applause. And we're going to start by introducing your Premiership side for 2017. He had a great game and a superb all year down back. Please put your hands together for number one, Nick Vorston. This man kept two of the most dangerous players in the AFL in green and bets very quiet in the past week. He was superb down back. Number two, Dylan Grimes. This man was sensational. He had a four-quarter effort across all the finals. Mr. Consistency, number three, Dion Prestia. Well, what else can be said about this man? He is your Brownlow medalist, a Norm Smith medalist, a premiership star, 22 contested possessions, two goals, and he booted the final goal. Ladies and gentlemen, none other than number four, Dusty Martin. And another star. This backline kept the opposition to an average of just 55 points in three finals games. Number five, Brandon Ellis. And Tiger Army, your 190 centimetre premiership ruckman. Number six, Sean Grigg. Two goals and two outstanding hangover, hang, hangers and a hangover as well. Your co-vice captain, Jumpin' Jack Flash, number eight. And the new lead singer of the Killers. This star had to wait 11 years for his grand final experience and he shone on the grand, grandest stage. Number 10, Shane Edwards. Well, a superb job helping shut down Crows skipper Tex Walker, number 12, David Asbury. What a star this man is. What a grand final. Run, a run off half back plus a goal. Sensational. Number 14, Basha Hooli. And this young star was instrumental in getting the Tigers into the grand final. He is a star of it for years to come. Number 17, Daniel Rioli. You're all Australian captain, the general of the best back line in the competition. He was outstanding. Your co-vice captain, number 18, Alex Rance. Ah, tough nut that threw himself into everything. Plus, he booted two goals. Number 21, Jacob Townsend. This man kept, kicked the Tigers' opening goal to get the party started. Number 22, Josh Caddy. And what a brilliant second half this player had. Number 23, Kane Lambert. Well, this man had to watch from the sidelines last year as a swan, but we wanted him. Thank you very much, Sydney. Your general of the ruck, number 25, Toby Nankervis. A former 
rookie who grabbed his chances with both hands, number 33, Camden McIntosh. Well, we have a new Cold Hero Tigers. This man was a schoolboy in Adelaide last year. His hero was Rory Sloan, and yesterday he shut him down. He kicked three goals. Put your hands together for number 34, Jack Graham. This player had to wait a few years before he could play AFL, but he starred on Tom Lynch, number 35, Nathan Broad. And how good a banana goal in the final quarter from this man, number 40, Dan Butler. And another former rookie who is now a premiership player, Jason Georgie Castagna, number 45. <laughs> it's at 46. Isn't that stupid? Someone put that in. I knew that. And, and ladies and gentlemen, he had a superb year. He is a superb leader. He is your premiership captain, number nine, Trent Cotchen. And he's just the Tigers' seventh premiership coach, he believed, and he's delivered with this amazing bunch of young men. Your premiership coach, Damien Hardwick. Before we have a chat with the players and our coach, your president, Peggy O'Neill, would like to say a few words. Please put your hands together for Peggy. The drought is over. <laughs> There's only one place to start this afternoon, and it's with our wonderful players. You were truly magnificent and gave us a wonderful season. Your commitment, your courage, your strength of mind all make us incredibly proud. You're now premiership players and forever written in the history of the Richmond Football Club. I want to single out our captain, Trent Cotchen, whose leadership has been inspirational in season 2017. Trent, Trent, you're a wonderful player and a wonderful person, and you're now our premiership captain. And with Alex and Jack, they're a formidable trio to lead this wonderful team. And to our senior coach, Damian Hardwick, we knew we had the right man. You're a man of great character, you're selfless, and you only ever wanted one thing for this club, to deliver us a Premiership Cup and mission accomplished yesterday. So to you, all the assistant coaches and all the football department, you have our greatest thanks. I'd also like to acknowledge the work of my fellow directors on the board and the hard work of our CEO, Brendan Gale. <laughs> Brendan has spent so many years playing for the club and he gave it his all and he's done nothing less as CEO. I know how much last night meant to him. And to our wonderful staff at the club, Thank you for everything you do every day to bring about this success. And to our members and fans, the Tiger Army, you're simply the best. We're blessed to have supporters who are as loyal and passionate as you. Soak it up, love every minute, be proud to call yourself part of the Tiger Army. You inspire us and we draw inspiration from your support. And finally, I'd like to reflect on something that's clear to all of us now. A united Richmond is a powerful force, and being strong and bold has delivered us this Premiership Cup. Go Tigers! Thank you, Peggy.
All right, it's time to have a chat with uh, the stars. We're going to start off with Dusty first of all. Come on, Dusty. Dusty Martin, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, uh, I don't think we're going to get away. How were the celebrations, Dusty? Yeah, they were very good last night. Pretty quiet ones? Yeah, just a couple of quiet. How's your family here today? Yeah, they're down there. Give them a wave. What about Swanee? Um, I just left his joint, so I'll be back there soon. Could you ever imagine that you're the first player to win the treble? The Brownlow medal, Premiership, Norm Smith. Was it ever, ever something on your radar? No, I wasn't worried about that. I was just worried about that cup right there and this medal. Um, I'm so proud of all the boys. It's awesome. That's the main thing. And uh, Richo told me you now want to get a golf handicap. Do you think you can play that pretty well? Golf? Um, yeah, I might give that a miss. Good, good, good question, Richo. I only like golf because you can have a couple of beers. So where to from here? Where's the party going to continue? Um, I don't know. Where are we going, boys? Might pop down to South Melbourne a bit later. Um, <laughs> I don't know. We'll have a few here and just enjoy it. And Yeah, I don't know where we'll go. <laughs> Let's leave him be. Ladies and gentlemen, Dusty Martin. Well done, mate. Let's get Alex and let's get Jack. Where are you, Jack? Jack, come on through. We'll, come, we'll just stand here. We'll, uh, I've got the bookends here. We'll start with you, Alex. Of two co-vice captains. That for you, uh, what a backline! I, I did the sums. It was about 55 points. You guys uh, let through on average for those three final games. Yeah, we're a pretty stingy backline. I uh, love the boys. Uh, yeah, we've got something pretty special. Uh, Dave Ashbury, Dylan Grimes, Nick Vloston, amazing leaders, Basha Hooley, Brandon Ellis, Nathan Broad, bring an amazing amount of run and drive. I love playing with them, they bring so much heart. Very good. Did you ever, uh, you just repelled everything, especially in that, in that first half, it was unbelievable. Did you have a chat with the midfielders and say, can you kick it down the other end? Yeah, well, I was in the running for the norm at half time and then they stuffed that up for me because they wouldn't let all the balls in, so yeah, I was pretty flat with that, but you know, I'll cop the win. <laughs> Um, I don't know, it's not about individual performances, but for you to be named All-Australian, uh, captain's a pretty incredible honour. Yeah, oh, I, I, yeah, thank you. Make some noise! Make some noise! Nah, <laughs> nah it's, uh, it is, it's, it's pretty humbling, but it, oh, I believe we've got the, the best leader the, in the whole AFL with, with Trent Cotchin and um, I'm so proud that I've learned so much from him over my career and um, yeah, it's, it's a, a nice accolade to win, but I'm, I'm proud to be part of this team more so. Absolutely. And for the lead singer of the Killers, Jumping Jack Flash. How was it? Yeah, can you sing us a verse for it? Nah. I'm I actually not. heard the replay. I think it was, I don't know, it was 3RW, I think. And uh, you sounded actually like you're in tune. Yeah, I've got to cut Premiership celebration short because I've got to go on tour with the Killers, so... Apparently over a million hits. Yeah, well, it's trending more than Donald Trump last night, so what a win. Uh, what was it feeling like uh, four minutes into the second quarter when you snagged that goal? Yeah, it was just a bit of feeling of relief. I missed three in the first, so um, no, nah, it's just, it's amazing. Little individual moments like that and team moments are, are huge and just a celebration with the boys after um, goals go through. Um, I know it's important for the fans and it's important for the guys as well. 100,000 fans at the MCG. What was it like when you walked out there yesterday? Uh, yeah, it was awesome. Um, it, was, uh, it, was, it was the greatest feeling ever. Preliminary final was, was great as well. We obviously had a sea of yellow and black, which all the majority of people here would have gone to the game. And we couldn't have got through the way we did without the support of the fans. Just um, how awesome they are and how much support they provide us with. And we're yellow and black and it's in our blood. And then you took two incredible hangers. They'll uh, obviously be uh, indented in the brain for the rest of your life. Yeah, I was pretty happy with those. So, a um, couple of hangers, why not, eh? Is there anything you want to say? No, I just want to give our families a shout out, everyone at the front here, um, and all the fans as well. Look, there's 22 guys up here, and obviously the coach as well, but we're, we're a group of 44. We've got plenty of support network behind us, so the wives, partners, um, Mrs. Hardwick as well. <laughs> But every person here is a part of the Richmond family, so 
enjoy it. I saw a few scenes of Swan Street last night. Let's go and do it again, eh? Why not? Your vice captains, ladies and gentlemen, Trent Cochin and Alex Rance. Thank you. Yeah. Where is he? And now for your premiership, Captain, give it up for Trent Cochin. Yeah. Wow, what a feeling, huh? Can you just describe what that means to you? Uh, it's pretty special. Um, oh, I'm still soaking it all up, to be honest. The last, I don't even know how long it's been. One hour, two hours, it seems to all be rolling into one, but um, it's just been incredible. And there's so many people involved from, you know, the deepest fan out there, people on TV, uh, all the way through our families, as Jack said, um, and then our football club. Uh, it's a special place to be a part of, and, and now I'm grateful that I get to, to be a part of a premiership club, which is uh, amazing. Now, you're pretty uh, straight cut. Did you sleep last night at all? I got a few hours in, probably a little bit better than a couple of the boys, but... Uh, I really want to enjoy my coffee this morning and, and read the paper and bask in all the glory, to be honest with you. And why wouldn't you? Tell us about the, the, the last 30 minutes or, or when it was for you, when, when the light switch that you were like, yeah, we've got this in the bag. Yeah, I, I was on the bench at the, about the 10 minute mark, uh, came back on with seven minutes ago, couldn't have cared less about touching the footy, I just wanted to soak it all up. Um, the boys had done an incredible job to put themselves in a position that they were and no one really cares about what's going on here. They're just like, what's going on in the background? Before I let you go, just for us mere models who models will never experience it, what is it like, that, probably the, the last 30 seconds of that game? Oh, you'll never forget it. Incredible, um, humbling, amazing. Can I throw Dusty off the stage or? <laughs> just something you want to say to the fans, the Tiger Army. Oh, just to echo what? The guys have already said it's, um, you know, a, a part of the fabric is your fans and, and, and they're the reason why uh, we are such a big club. We're, we're proud of what we do uh, and we're so proud of this and, and it's thankful to, to everything that they've done. I can't go on with this bloke. He's about... <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Tiger Army, your premiership captain, Trent Cochin. Come on, Dimmer, it's your turn. A couple of, couple of easy questions. Now, what, what do they call you? They call you tiptoes. Did you tiptoe out of the function last night? Oh, I did. I was probably a little bit like Trent. Um, you know, these sort of events don't come around very often. I certainly wanted to get up with a clear head, and I really enjoyed. Dustin, if one finger comes above my head, look out. <laughs> I really wanted to enjoy it. Read the paper this morning, had breakfast, and uh, it's just been <laughs> fantastic. And, uh, you know, it's a privilege to be a part of. Can you take us through in the coach's box as you watch it all unfold? You, you know that it's you know that it's in the bag. Can you tell us what it, what that's like? Yeah, it was interesting. It's um, Blake Carousel, a good mate of mine, was saying at seven minutes to go, he thought you should head down to the boundary. And I'm going, listen, it's still not over, sort of thing. I was uh, so by about three minutes, we we all decided to head down as a group and. Yeah, I've been very, very privileged to work with some great coaches, but the coaching fraternity I've got this year have been nothing short of, um, of outstanding. I implored them of what they've done. They've made my job a hell of a lot easier, and I've learned a lot from them this year. And uh, it's been spoken about a lot, but uh, just with the board and, and executives, everyone's sticking fat and sticking through and, uh, and sticking with you. Obviously, uh, just to be able to return that was probably the greatest moment of your life. It was, and look, credit where credit's due. You know, Brendan, Peggy and the board, and... That's what good clubs do. We're, we're united and we've spoken about we're a strong and bold. And now the pleasing thing for us is we're a premiership club. You want to say a few words? Yeah, I do. But um, I want to thank our fans. Um, they've been fantastic along the journey. You've been through a thick and thin. We're 70,000 strong. You are. Um, to hear the roar when we walk out on that ground, not only of yesterday, but the preliminary final is certainly inspiring. I know that when the game is there to be won, you certainly act as our 19th man. You deserve a round of applause. You inspire us. We play for you and we applaud you. But, um, I'd like to thank our sponsors. We've had terrific support throughout the, the number of years I've been here through Jeep. Bingle, the Swinburne Centre, 
Host Plus have been a terrific support of mine. Puma, thank you, Dustin. But more importantly, I'd like to thank these players. The 22 blokes that played the game are incredibly important, but as are the 42 that are on our list, you are nothing short of inspirational the way you play. You've done me, you've done our coaches, you've done our football club incredibly proud. You are simply brilliant. You are a premiership club. You are a premiership team and that is the one thing as a football player you aim for and you enjoy every success you have. So well done. Tiger, Trent, Tiger Army, I want to introduce you to someone. Meet cup number 11. Thank you for the hat. Um, there's two, two important parts of our football club I forgot to thank, and, and one as um, Jack and Trent have covered off our families here who, who ride the bumps throughout us along the way. And the other one is the staff of the Richmond Football Club who have been a wonderful support to our players um, and a wonderful support to you. Without them, we don't get these sort of things organized and we don't win football games. So can I go a round of applause for our, uh, our staff? Enjoy the day, enjoy the night. They don't come around often. Have a beer for me.